In this video, we'll be showcasing real pictures of the late Herbert Wigwe that I'm pretty sure you haven't seen before. Starting with the very first one, here we have a picture of the late Wigwe in his boyhood days. And here's a picture of him together with his late wife Chizoba on their wedding day. This couple surely were meant to be together as you can see. The wife supported Wigwe all through his struggle and also in becoming one of the best bankers the country ever produced. The union between Wigwe and his wife Chizoba was fruitful and they gave birth to Chizi, the very first born. Showing right now on your screen is a picture of the couple together with their very first child, wearing a very beautiful smile and in a state of absolute joy. A couple of years later, Herbert Wigwe and his beautiful wife gave birth to their very first daughter. Showing right now on your screen is a picture of Herbert holding his daughter. In total, Wigwe had four offspring. Here is a picture of Wigwe, his wife, with Cheesy, Tochi, Hannah and David in a cute family picture. And here is a clearer picture of Cheesy and Hannah together with their parents being Herbert Wigwe and Chizoba Wigwe in an event held in UK back in 2023. This was an event organized by Access Bank. It was called the Access Polo Tournament, which like I said previously, was held in the UK. And now, let's take a look at some rare banking or corporate pictures of Wigwe. Showing right now on your screen is this very first image of Wigwe together with his very close friend in the person of this. I can't pronounce his name and that is his name showing right now on your screen. And just in case you don't know, he is the new non-executive chairman of Access Bank. And here is a picture of Herbert together with Ngozi okonji -Wela, the former minister of finance in Nigeria. And just in case you don't know, Wigwe managed to achieve various feats for Access Bank. He managed to elevate the financial records of the bank. Every single year, Access Bank manages to host an anniversary for the bank. In celebration for the successful takeover by Herbert and a successful rulings and achievements, under his watch and belt. Here is a picture taken from the 20th anniversary of Access Bank and if you can see we have Wigwe with the wife clearly shown in this picture. Years later, Wigwe managed to carry Access Bank on his shoulders. He received numerous international recognitions and awards and he received one from the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Showing right now on your screen is Wigwe when he was conferred with the commander of the Order of the Niger Hono, CON, from the former president of Nigeria in the person of Muhammadu Buhari for the contribution to national service and humanity at the International Conference Center in Abuja. And this award was given to him on the 11th of October 2022. After being honored by his country, Wigwe did not slow down. And here is a picture of Wigwe when he was awarded as a top 25 CEO on the Nigerian Stock Exchange from Frank Ayigogun, who was the publisher of Business Day at the Top 25 CEOs and Next Bowls Awards organized by Business Day. Herbert Wigwe did not slow down, he was very, very ambitious. And here's a picture taken from the 23rd of January 2020, where he was honored as the banker of the decade by this day newspaper at its 25th anniversary celebration held at a co-convention center in Lagos State, Nigeria. And here is a rare picture of Wigwe together with the former Lagos State Governor in the person of Akin Wumi Ambode, where Ambode uh, gave Wigwe the AO plague during his courtesy visit at the Lagos House in Ikeja, Nigeria. The late Herbert Wigwe went on to receive numerous and countless awards that I won't bore you with. But then, let me show you something about Wigwe that I think most of you don't know. Wigwe was a philanthropist. He was rich, he was wealthy, yes, we know. But this man managed to do a lot of things for Nigerians in the background and behind the scenes. Here is a picture taken from the 15th of December 2014, where Wigwe partners with the Infrastructure Bank to raise funds for the rehabilitation of the Lagos Ibadan dual carriage way. And in the title of November 2016, Robert Wigwe and Huawei partnered together to raise funds so as to fight uh, malaria in Nigeria. Here's a picture of Herbert together with a representative from Huawei where they showcase that they managed to pull up about 50 million naira together 
just to fight malaria alone. And remember, this was done without the help of the Nigerian government. And on June 12th, 2019, we captured a very, very interesting picture of Wigwe with uh, Uzoma Dozi, who is the founder of the Diamond Bank before its merger on the 1st of April, 2019. And just in case you don't know, Wigwe was a guru. He understood the financial implications. He understood Nigerians finances very, very well. And he understood the finances of the world. And that is why on the 8th of August, 2019, Wigwe meets with the Consul General Chu Momin to exchange views on the deepening financial cooperation between China and Nigeria. He is pictured alongside Victor Etuoku, the present managing director of Access Bank Retail North. Interestingly, on the 10th of May 2023, Herbert Wigwe is pictured alongside Yesom Wike, the former governor of River State, during a visit to discuss his foundation's intervention project in the state's health sector. Wigwe, who hails from Isiopo in River State, discussed his foundation's plan to adopt 25 health care centers across the 23 local government areas in the state with the plans to renovate them and install modern equipment to be in operation in five years. Showing right now on your screen is a picture taken from the 13th of March 2018 where Wigwe was presented with an honorary degree for good works towards humanity by the Gombe State University. Like I said previously, Wigwe was a philanthropist. He was a man who really cared for the people and for the nation. He was quite different from other rich or businessmen. We all know this man really cared about the common man. This man has performed very well. He has performed more than some state governors in Nigeria. And yeah, he was given an honorary degree for good works towards humanity in the Golden Bay State University. Showing right now on your screen is a picture taken from the 2nd of December 2018 where Herbert Wigwe, like I said, based on his philanthropic deeds, he received an honorary doctorate from his alma mater which is the University of Nigeria and Suka. And if you look at the right hand side of your screen, there is Chizoba, the wife of Wigwe. Showing right now on your screen is a picture taken from the 24th of September 2020 where Wigwe commissions Access Bank's Oniru Road project with the governor of the state Babaji De Songolu having moved its corporate head office from Damole Street, Victoria Island to Oniru. Wigwe went on to receive numerous recognitions and numerous awards from every corner of the world. Anyways, if you want to see the biggest project executed by Wigwe and family, click on the video showing right now on your screen to watch it now. Click on that video and I'll see you there.